So here is the beast. It is ginormous. We haven't seen it in a video for a while, so it's giving you a quick tour. Gorgeous machine. Obviously it's collected some dust, it's been under there quite some time. But anyway, we are now going to simply take off the side door to reveal the innards. Still nice and warm guys, still nice and warm. We'll put that godly door down there, pretty safe. Have you seen how much it is to replace those? Bloody hell. Here we have the G5. Still warm. Here's our nice little see-through, um, whatever you call it, air baffle. And here is the inside of the G5. Collected some dust, of course. I mean, just sucks it in and blows it out the back constantly, you know? Hmm, as you can see, got the uh, 6800 Ultra in there. It really is a ginormous card. Look at it compared to my hand. And here is where we'll be working, guys. So, it's this drive that we're taking out. All you do is flip that up and unplug it. Try and somehow wangle out these cables. There you go. Cables are unplugged. And now I believe we can just pull out the drive. Yep. Here it comes. Mmm, nice and toasty. Nice and toasty indeed. Okay. See these four screws? Little rubber screws on the corners here. I will need to attach them to my new drive. So that is what I'm going to do now. You only need to hand tighten them, but... Yeah, this one's been over tightened, so I will need a screwdriver to do it. Where have my screwdrivers gone? So we'll move those four over to this drive. Back in a minute, guys. One interesting thing about this drive, guys, is it's got the little Apple logo on it. It's Apple branded. So um, this, these two drives, like I said, are identical, this one and the one that's remaining in there for now. And um, so it must have been configured with 500 gigs um, right from the factory, which is epic, you know, pretty sweet. When this computer was released, 500 gigabytes was a lot of storage. But anyway, we now have the four little rubber screws um, on my new hard drive, and I'm so excited to put this in. So guys, drive is in place. All we have to do now is push down our nice locking thing, which is really cool, and we will plug in our cables. See if I can do this live on camera, shall we? See how much I really do fail. Oh, crikey, I fail quite a lot. <laughs> I need two hands. All right, guys, let's go for the boot up. Here she is, three, two, one, and so much for the dramatic thing because I can't find my power button. Okay, three, two, one, go. That's always a good sign, nice bong. It's always a really good sign. This will come in handy. Awesome, I took out the right drive. We have got uh, Apple logo, which suggests that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> uh, sorry for the shaky camera work, guys. Oof. Really shaky. I did that on purpose then. So we're booting. Always takes a while to boot when I've got my external hard drive plugged in, my um, Firewire drive. Hey, hey, check this out. It says, um, what the heck? I think my parents just pulled up outside, but anyway. It says, guys, disk insertion, this disk, the disk you inserted was not readable by this computer. Awesome, it works, initialize. 931.5 gigabyte. Wow. They re you do lose about 70 gigs. That's crazy, isn't it? But anyway, guys, there it is. It showed up. <laughs> oh, wicked. So, guys, I'm copying over all my stuff. I'm absolutely sorted. 
got um, a little bit of time to wait before I can edit this video, but yeah. And one thing I have to say about this new drive, guys, is it's way quieter than the old one. I can't hear it at all. So, very successful. Um, loving the drive. It's the quickest drive that, you know, you can possibly get because you have to limit the speed of the drive so it works with the G5. But um, I'm future-proof, by the way. Hence the reason why I bought this drive. Um, if I ever get a Mac Pro or something, I can, ev you know, use all of the speed of the drive. Um, but, yeah. Only had to shove a little jumper and it was fine. Alright guys, I thought I'd just get out that external enclosure, give it another go. I've got my old 250 in here now, and we're going to turn it on and see what it does. On. Alright, so it's spun the disc and it's reading. Let's have a look at the screen. Um, I've got my internal. My other internal, my firewire. Oh. Doesn't seem to have shown up. <laughs> what a surprise. This in enclosure truly does suck. At least it looks good though. <laughs> Always look at the advantages. Thanks for watching, guys.